Okay, so I have this theory that in Pilgrim's Pass, somewhere he has some really good training and some really bad handling from likely two different places. So I wanted to test that out a little bit with the saddle and bit. Um, okay, but back up a little bit before that. Um, he seems to be a little bit better with men, I think, than women. Um, my husband, uh, who usually doesn't work with the horses like I do, um, just turns them in and out sometimes with me. Um, he came down and did a hoof handling session with me. He was much better. Um, he did, on his back feet, um, kick out a couple times a little bit, but um, given the benefit of doubt, um, it was more threat. It wasn't like intentionally going to kick him, but my husband was holding his foot in kind of an awkward scenario because that's something he hadn't really done before. And I was kind of coaching him through it as he was doing it. Um, and once he started holding correctly, he let him lift up all four. Um, and we took the bridge earlier, but he did better than when I do it. Uh, so we're going to keep moving forward with both of us kind of tag teaming that behavior. And now um, back to the saddling. Um, saddle pad I've done a couple times and he was good. And so then I put on my saddle on him and didn't budge. Uh, cinched it up, didn't even look, didn't budge, didn't move a foot, wasn't fidgety. I didn't cinch it very tight, uh, just setting him up to succeed, just kind of a loose cinch, but went from there. Didn't budge, um, grabbed a bridle with a just basic snaffle, took it super easy peasy, didn't budge, tossed the reins over his back, took him out to the round pen, um, and you'll see this all in the video. I'm just kind of explaining first, and I just kind of wanted to do basic evaluation, um, just kind of see how he was with the reins, a really light, light pressure he'd give to um, both left and right. Very, very slight with the back. He backed so gently. Um, he didn't move forward with the cluck. Um, and because he has some rub marks on his sides that looks like from some like spur rub marks, I was not going to be too assertive with, we're moving forward right now. Um, I just wanted to do the reins, left, right, and back. And it was the lightest, softest little pressure. And he just gave so perfectly. And I was like, okay, we'll do this. Went in front of the mounting block, um, didn't budge. I kind of wiggled around to stir up a little bit. Um, rubbed my foot behind the saddle. And as jumpy and flighty as this horse is in normal cases, he didn't budge, nor did he feel tense the way he normally does when he's not haltered and worked with and a lot of times even in the halter when walking around sometimes he's he kind of feels scared stiff but in the scenario with the saddling and right now he didn't um so once we get over this hump and whatever this really bad handling in his past was at some point um and if he can just learn to trust people and if he just has complete honest communication from here on out and he learns that it's okay to make mistakes and um he's not afraid to learn afraid to just have a partnership with the writer learn to follow his writer and his person and that they're a safe spot he is in my opinion going to be a phenomenal little pony for somebody um, he's super smart, um, super sensitive, but he's uh, just got to get over this little hump, which just is going to take time. Um, but he had some really good training somewhere in there, which is I was very pleasantly surprised to see. Um, so then after that, I took him into the barn, and I didn't get all the rest of this on video. And I worked on some more... Um, I'm torn on the fly spray thing. If, if it's a skin sensitivity or not, I went ahead and used an all natural fly spray again. Um, one more time to see if he gets any skin irritations from it. I sprayed it on a towel, maybe five feet away from him and put it on him. Just the flies are really bugging him. 
um, and he was really calm with applying that and calm when I was spraying it. So I'm just kind of slowly getting closer and closer and reinforcing them when I'm spraying it and for applying it. Hopefully um, in a few hours, I don't see any raised bumps or irritations on his skin at all. I wanna make sure that it's from not only little sores he had from before he came, um, but also any current fly bites that might have scabbed over from scratching or anything. Um, so worked on that, took him outside, let him graze for that good session. And then for coming back from grazing calmly, um, tied him back up, did a couple more of the little approximations um, just with movement in the ties, took him back out again, grazed some more for being good, and then around into his arena um, and built up his hay bag again. So he had a very long session, good focus and threshold the entire time. Um, he's catching on to this routine really well. I'm super proud of his little progress. Okay, and the videos will follow all this blabbering that I did to explain my enthusiasm and excitement of today's first half of the day sessions. I have horse treats in my pocket. I think it was running, just so you know. I'm recording this. Why? Because I fly out. I fly out. I fly out. 
good training in there. you know. This bug wants to bite me. Why are you backing up? Why are you backing up? Or are you just going to hug you again? I'm just going to hug you again. <laughs> 